download the package file from Blackboard for your bottle exercise. Once you unzip open, right, there will be four images and then one cat file. When you open up the cat file, the lines are all given to you. So what you need to do is to practice all the um, surface modeling tools that you learn and uh, create this bottle. Okay, so let's take a look at the bottle again, the pictures and all. There is a fillet here, radius of 3. Okay, at the edge here, radius fillet 5, top radius fillet 3. There's a slight thickness here. Okay. At the edge is 5. And then the bottle cap. Okay. Let's go back to the file again. So the easiest one to do here now, right, if you take a look, we can start to do revolve because why you have the, uh, the line curve here. Okay. So let's say, for example, if we do revolve, you can type the word revolve, select the curve to revolve, which is this, enter. And then for your revolve axis, we can use the and and here. Press enter. We want 360, uh, 380. Right. Select this, change your object layer. Let's say, for example, new layer, we call it cat. Okay, double click, let change to uh, grid. Right click, change object layer. So it's much closer to the intended um, so called document. You can choose any other colors, all right? The reason why we need to keep it separate layers is that when we pick inside Keyshot or any other rendering software, we need uh, we need them to be grouped accordingly. Uh, okay. So let's say, for example, oops. Here. Take a look, yeah. There is a slight fillet here. So let's assume the fillet is 3. Okay. Let's go to solid. Okay, that's my fillet H. Fillet H. Let's do a 3. Enter. Side H. Enter. All right, so our cap now is done. We can select the cap and then hide. Okay. To hide is to, con uh, uh, you can press Ctrl H to, let's do a few more hides. Let's say we select all these. Right. If you press Ctrl Shift H, you can show, uh, let's say for example, a particular item. Let's say for example here, all right? To show all, you need to press Ctrl Alter H. So let's hide the cap. Let's hide this curve. And now we can start building up the uh, bottle with the surface modeling tools that we have learned. Double check. Let's say, for example, the line shape, right? Let me just take this, take my base. Double click here. I just want to check if it's a planar curve, whether it's straight. Alright, most of them are straight. So from here, I can directly take my. Uh, surface from planar curve, which is this one, I can straight away directly select the curves, select the curve which I want, okay, directly have it, the top, okay, directly have, have it, okay, for here, okay, this portion, I can either do an extrude surface or I can directly do a long. It works the same way. Okay. So for this portion here, can I do a log again? Yes, I can. But let's say, for example, if you go back here, the profile, the surface profile is not similar on to the intended one here. Okay. So what else can we use? Can we use, can we then use the, hold on, yeah, can we then use the blend surface, the one that we learned, learned uh, previously, okay, where is blend surface, it's here, you can pull it out here, alright, it's the last icon here, so this is blend surface, shortcut, shortcut, right, if you cannot remember where the icon is, you can always type blend, and then select surface, 
All right, here they will ask you for the first segment. It can be either or. All right, let's pick this as the first. This as my next. Make sure the seam and the direction of the arrow matches. Press enter. Once here, you can do a quick preview to see. Okay, you can do a curvature or you can do a tangency. All right, can you see the difference? It's quite very slight. Yeah. So you can use either or. Let's just stay with curvature for now. As you build, right? As you build your surface, do remember to join Ctrl A. Okay, to check whether there's any error. For now, it's quite okay. Yeah. So let's say, for example, we done that. Right now, we have this uh, so-called body lab. What can we then use? Does this then look like a surface from 2 to 3? Uh, sorry. Does this look then like a surface from 2, 3, 4 edges? Shall we try? Let's take this, 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 and this. All right? You can get a surface, but it's not what we want. And we then use a um, surface from network curve. Let's take this. One, two, Let's pick this and then we pick this as the mid. Then press hit. From here, right, we are trying to match uh, the surface to another item. Right? Be it, uh, let's say, for example, now D is not registering anything. At A, it's supposed to be position correct. At C, it's supposed to be position correct. But at B, at B sorry, at D and B. We would like to get or we would like to achieve tangency, right? This is for surface continuity. So let's cancel this because we want tangent this and this. Let's then, um, let's then click again. Okay, let's then build the back first. Okay, click, click, click again, click parameter, and then click the body. You can use um, surface network or the other one you can use a rail from two. Either or is quite similar. Okay. So right now, let's say for example, we use this as a base. Right. Take a look in. Okay, right now, some of you might ask, hey, Chuck, how come this is two? This is four. Okay, let's take this again, delete. Let's try again. Okay, select all the items. Okay. Let's say, for example, right now we do a preview. Okay, the edge curve, let's say, for example, we drop. Okay. Oops, okay, hold on, yeah. Let's say, for example, okay, cancel. Try again. One, two, three. Oh, and the last one, let's say we delete here, let's do a preview. So right now we have a three plane here, All right? This one is a two plane. We can still um, reduce or increase the tolerance, right? One, we could try that. The other one, let's try the... Select, uh, sorry, we can try the sweep two rails. Let's take this as the rail, the first rail, second rail. Then let's take the cross section as this one, two, three. Okay, can you see that it now matches to what the intended one? Okay, let's just pull it down a bit. Here, we do not want to simplify. We want it to, uh, as much as possible, capture the curve that we have. Let's just do a quick um, view. If it's in line with the curve, yes, all, all align. Press OK. okay. Once you have this ready, can you then build the edges here? Let's say we go take the um, surface network. 
one, two, each. Yeah, cool. Cool. Be very careful, huh? When you select this, right? You might you you must. Okay, let me just repeat. Select the curve, not the edge. Okay, again, the curve, not the edge. The curve, not the edge, and then plus this. Then you press enter. Okay, here itself, right? That you cannot do any uh, tangent. Here you need to be position. Here you need to be position. Here also you need to be position. So now you can do a pre quick preview. Okay. So let's say for example here itself, right? Okay. Both both method work likewise, yeah. So let's say for example here, let's try um, surface network. Okay, the other side itself, let's try a, let's try the um, sweep two wheels then. Let's take this as my first wheel, let's take this as my second wheel, then all this will be my profile, which is one, two, three. Both of them work uh, quite similar to each other. Yeah? So how we build this right is through sweep. Yeah. So notice, let's say for example, within the same model itself, within the same surface itself, there are few different methods that you can try. Okay. As much as possible, right? Okay, this right, this surface versus this surface, right? This is a lesser resolution this is a higher resolution more uh, details that you capture similar let's say for example you work with zbrush and any other the higher your file will be okay. we try as much as possible to keep modeling uh, clean so delete this right this part itself we can directly take a mirror okay. snap from one end to the other Done. Okay, now try again. Let's try to join. It worked, yeah. So the next one, for the last one here, before we do any um, filling, do a quick check. Let me just open up. Okay, so the body is looks like that. Let's try the surface form network. Okay, select my curves. Here, right, slightly different. We want it to be tangent, so maybe let's try poly surface edge. Slightly different, yeah. Oops, this one we want it at position, this one we want it at poly surface edge. You can try, yeah, select this. Okay, so at C here and A, I want my surface to be tangent. Can you see? When it tangent, right, there is surface continuity. Later on, when I open my zebra, you can see the difference. Yeah? So let's say, for example, I press OK. So when I select all, I go analyze, I go to my surface. The zebra is here, the environment map is here. I will just do a quick environment map for you to see. Okay, so quick join. Right? So here itself, let's say we delete this, we take again. Oh, and so let's do, let's do a quick zebra. Okay. okay. Most of the curve here, right, is quite clean uh, for now. Uh. Um, as much as possible, we try to get um, surface continuity. For here, right, it's not really uh, that the surface is not really smooth when it comes to this edge. Yeah. There are different methods that we can uh, clean it up. Yeah. But for this exercise, hold on, yeah. For this exercise, you can uh, play with, let's say, the um, uh, water type model. Make sure every single thing is joined. Let's try again. Let's take this. Take the curve. This time around, we take all the curves. Curves again. 
Oops. Okay, right now at A, right, and C. This is what I want to show you. At A and C right now, I cannot click tangent. Can you see the difference? Previously, I can click tangent, right? Okay, you see now here, the same tool. I cannot click tangent. I cancel. The same one, right? But I click poly surface edge. Curve, poly surface edge. Curve. I click enter. Right now, I can have my tangent C. Right? So let's say, for example, I go for curvature. Both of them work quite uh, closely together. Okay. Then now, I select all game. I go to analyze, surface, environment map. Okay. It looks okay to me. Yeah. Can be cleaner. And so, double check the uh, files. So right now we are left with the uh, felix and the uh, thickness. Yeah. So what we can do is to select this joint. Okay. Check whether this is a solid by clicking volume. All right. It's a positive one here. So right now it's a solid surface. So now we can actually directly go to solid fillet edge. Fillet edge. Um, it's a tree for the fillets. So I can click tree here, tree here, tree here. Let me just double check. Okay. Okay, it's tree. The top here is supposed to be tree. The bottom also is supposed to be tree. Okay. This tree. 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 I can just select here, make it 3. Then the next one, I need to change 5, 5, 5. Okay, double check. Okay, 3, 3, 3, 3. Go down 5, 5. The rest are all trees. Okay, press enter. Right now, Rhino will register every single thing. Okay, looks quite alright for me. You can do a quick um, render if you want to see. Let's hide the curve. It generally looks fine for me. Yeah. Push on back. Go to shader mode. Okay, the the thickness, right? We can try to go with shell. So what shell does, right? Let me just show you here. When you pick a surface, right? When you pick a face for it to um, cut it out, it will then try to give you a shell uh, as direct as that, right? as, as little as that. So, let's say for example, my thickness is, uh, let's try 3 or so. Okay. I click this surface, I press enter. It would then try to register and then um, shell it out for me. Okay. So let's say for example here, if I want to do a quick trim, right? Let me just hold on here. Okay. Let me just take a big item here. Let me just pull it out so that you can see. Go down a bit. Let me just then do a quick boolean difference. <coughs> subtract from is this. Subtract with is this. Okay. Let me just show you. So now you will have a thickness of the uh, bottle at 3mm all round. It, it saves you the hassle of uh, building. So when you send this out for rapid prototyping machine, this will also help you to save materials. Okay, let me just undo the delete. So here, once this is done, let me switch on my layers, new layer. Let me just change this to body. Change the color to uh, be a dark green. Select this, change. 
which this guy back in. All right, so you will have the so you have the uh, bottle now with the cap all modeled out according to the dimension with the curve all provided. So yeah, do not forget to save your material. Some key things to remember when you start to build your uh, models out with curves. Always make sure it's one is in a plane, right? If you want to plan a surface. Two, make sure it's all snap, remember. Alright. Go try your go try the model out. Try to get the surfaces. Then uh, continue with rendering it. Okay. 